All right, real world test on Starlink Mini. You can see it's sitting here on the dashboard of the car. And uh, we've got a clear view of the sky, but uh, we've got trees right over there. And then you can see we're in a canyon uh, with large mountains right over there too. So somewhat limited view of the sky and obviously going through glass. So 98 download, 14.5 upload. That is not too shabby for a very haphazard setup at the moment. And it just booted up minutes ago. All right, now we have uh, kind of positioned it in the sunroof. Works perfect in this car. It's got this little lip right here. And then we just slid this closed slightly. So now Starlink has a view out the sunroof. Let's see what uh, the speed is in sunroof mode. 25 by 26. So slightly slower download, but slightly faster upload. So still plenty usable in the sunroof configuration. All right, now we've got uh, the Starlink on the ground. Now you can kind of see we've got uh, open sky, but uh, we're in a pretty narrow canyon. Got the mountains on that side, power lines overhead, and then trees and mountains on that side. But let's see what, uh, what kind of speed we get with it on the ground here. So maybe a slight improvement especially on the download speed, but uh, not major. So if uh, I didn't have to contend with the uh, snow at all, because the nice thing about the snow is this will melt it off when it's outside. And if it were in the car's windshield, it would not melt it off. But uh, for security reasons, I may just uh, keep it uh, in the windshield of the car. All right, one more thing I wanted to test. I've got this hooked up with the cable that came with the Starlink Mini and uh, we've got the power brick uh, currently powering it. But uh, notice that this particular power station, this is the EcoFlow Delta 2, it's got some 5521 barrel plugs uh, directly accessible on the back right here. I've heard uh, that uh, if you plug this cable directly into a 12 volt source, which is what that is, we have too much of a voltage drop with this long of the cable to power the Starlink. And uh, so that's what I want to test and see if we can fire it up or not. Let's unplug the brick and let's plug this in. If we turn the power station around, something's happening because it says it's, it's supplying 50 watts at the moment. Starlink always uses a lot right when it boots up. Anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes and uh, we'll see if uh, we have internet again, powering off directly the DC. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and uh, it still says power is being drawn from this power station, but uh, we have no success uh, getting Starlink to boot up. So I do think that everyone else who's tested this cable just with direct 12 volts um, is correct. It does not work. We've got the Delta 2 power station here and we're just going to plug Starlink power adapter into the AC outlet and uh, let's see how much power that draws so right after we plugged it in there we've got about 42 watts and uh, i've heard that it pulls the most right at the very beginning so let's let it boot up and uh, we'll see how much it pulls when it's online all right we are fully online now and uh, you can see that uh, wattage has dropped down to uh, the mid to low 20 watt range plus inverter overhead. So you got to factor that in when you're running the inverter, it's going to use power on top of what the Starlink is consuming. Anyway, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this uh, quick speed test. We'll be testing it uh, further at uh, future opportunities. Don't forget to give us the like and a subscribe so you don't miss that. And we'll catch you all next time.